Alright, what's up guys? This is your boy Derek from FLCL TV and I'm brought to you a new tutorial on Bleach. Another one. And this one is a Get to Get Tensho. Based on my video. If you haven't seen it or not, the fan film, uh, check it out. The effect is in there and it's pretty epic. Um, if you watch it, you'll get an idea of uh, what I'm about to show you. So the uh, Get to Get Tensho if you don't know it's just particle energy in an alpha format that's pretty much all it is it's gonna be real simple and easy so I'm gonna show you how to do it and um, later I will show you some advanced techniques to further the get to potential um, effects as far as like warping wave warping um, displacement and um, screen shatter maybe so alright let's get started this is the uh, picture. I'm not going to show you a video because I want to be make this as real quick as possible. Um, get your composition, whatever you want to uh, get it as. Get your new layer. Solid. We're gonna. This is going to be our gets potential. So GT. Make main comp size. Bam. Let's look for CC particle world we all love this though we, we we we're so familiar with this with this particle i'm just annoyed by it <laughs> so you have your particle stream looks like rain blah 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 physics changes to uh we want to flip it so negative 0 0.500 flipped like a cheerleader <laughs> like a schoolgirl um let's bring this down where's that uh producer right? yeah there you go let's bring this down not in Z space that one. Just the uh have the whole subject in there. Get the floor out of here. Go to particle. We're gonna change the, the birth and uh and death in here first. So of course it's black to red, as you can see. Get this red at the top right so it shines bright like a diamond. <laughs> no reference. Um yeah, so we have that. We have our little particles. As you can see, it's already starting to uh, turn. Do I want to spread this out some more? Yeah, that's, just, that's good. Okay, the next, we want to blur it out. Fast blur. Repeat edge pixels. Only want to give it 5%. That's all we're going to do. Now that we've got that, we're going to go to effect, color correction, Tritone. Took me a while to figure this out. I'm telling you, it took me a while. Almost gave up. But um it's simple as, as simple as it is, like I didn't even think about it. It's it's the, the key is the alpha alpha format because it's a, it's an alpha effect. It's reversed. It's like when you make it an effect when you want it to be uh shine bright from from the inside, which is black, black doesn't shine, it's like what what are you, what are you doing, you know? So uh make that red. Midtones, black. This is very essential to the effect as well. It's very essential. It wouldn't work without this tritone. Or if there's another uh plugin in here that's alike, probably it would work as well. Um now we're gonna go to the glow system. I think it's stylized glow, yeah. But you can easily type glow in here. Glow stylize. Alright. So now we've got this glow of black going on. I'm not sure if that makes sense to you, but um, we want to go change this based on alpha channel. See, did you see that? Alpha. Change the glow colors to AB colors if you if it's not there already. Triangle ABA to sawtooth ABA. Bam. So glow threshold. Radius intensity is what's going to control this effect next. First, <laughs> glow threshold to 2.4. That was Phoenix, right? My my phone um my phone does that. S stop. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. Before that, change the colors from black, as we're both black. Color B to red. Bam. You can see the effect already happening. Radius. Just wanted to be 50 or 50, 50, 55 percent, or whatever 
wherever much you choose. Intensity, 1.2. Sorry, yeah, reverse it. Wait, no. Yeah, reverse it. <laughs> That's what you want. Fifty percent. Fifty five. Huh. Okay, so let's look at this. Position. That's supposed to be black. I can never remember if it's black or red right here. It's confusing the hell out of me right now. So that's black. Let's make this red. Black to red, people. Sorry, that's my mistake. Bring this up. It looks like it looks like just just watercolored crayon. That's just gross. Okay. Spread this out. As you can see, if you bring it closer in, you have your little energy. You pretty much have the... This is the particle effect that I wanted you to have access to. From here, you can do anything you want in this particle system. If you're not familiar with it, you can go... You can do all this, play with it. All this, play with it. You'll get a different effect each and every time. But this is just how to acquire the effect itself the aura spread it out you get that let me just bring this in some more Okay, quick adjustment. Change the um, the birth rate to four point two. From here, you can actually see the effect take place. And the way it works is, the more um, particles you have, the more they collab together. So if you see how them the the birth rate as they're dying they change place and uh, color. The more that comes in, the more of the effect comes in as well. You see that? And that's get to go, like literally get to go right there. So you don't really need to have it just all together like that. Like I said, it really depends on your composition. But I just wanted to show you that's the effect itself and it can be controlled through a uh, particle anyhow you want. So if I wanted to spread this out or something or it'll look like that it, it doesn't look all that good because it's like a close-up shot if you saw it in the video you'd be like none of them were really that close but the closer it got the less particles there were but this is just the main idea of what you're trying to accomplish and what I did for like as the the slash if you saw it or not um, I did the directional axis, which changes it to that. You can do like whatever you want. From here, I went to the particle type and changed it to motion polygon. No, quad polygon. And what you do when you do that, go to rendering, force motion blur, to act like ice. Okay. So let's change this again. Quad polygon, motion polygon, motion square. Or 
Was it ice? I believe it was ice. Let's try ignored for now. Just to, yeah, just to get rid of that line. So you can you can control the direction with the velocity anyhow you like, depending on the um, the shot. Spread it out, close it in. You get Getska. <laughs> Just like that. So yeah. That's the tutorial guys. Um I'll make another one with the uh, advanced techniques of how to improve it even more. Like, um, if you notice sometimes when Ichigo slashes, he has, like, a, a displacement right after. It's a, the effect causes a displacement, and it's a ripple, and also uh, warps at the same time. So, yeah, this is just a, the idea of how to make it itself. If you have any ideas, you can just add it on to it, see if it works. Probably show it to me. I'll be like, hey, that's pretty good. I didn't think about that. But um, the, the advanced version will have... Uh, a warping technique and displacement to it to give it that 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 ripple energy slash in the atmosphere look to it <laughs> so um yeah thanks again for watching the tutorial like i said it was really quick and easy you go to cc particle world change the birth and death to black and red give it a fast blur five the tritone from red midtones black shadows black then uh, the glow, make sure it's in alpha channels, A and B colors, sawtooth A and B, and change it from black to red, I believe. Yeah, black to red. And then you'll get this. After that, you can just control it however you want in particle world. The, the, the idea is endless. You know, you can do whatever you want. So uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe now. If you um, have any questions, hit me up on my... Um, Facebook page and on I'll, I'll it's of course everything will be in the description for any questions if you didn't understand but I'm pretty sure you would understand it's like four easy steps but um yeah thanks for watching and have a great day thanks